Wizard 101. It's like Magic Quest, but isn't. Wizard 101 was the first game to be made by King's Isle Entertainment. King's Isle was founded in 2005 by Ellie Akalane, create kids safe, family friendly video games. What's surprising is that Tom Hall, the co-founder of id Software, joined the company in 2005, but left in 2011. And you all know what happened next. Wizard 101 is one of the few games that King's Isle has made, and two of them have 101s at the end of them. Hey, wait a second. I guess this section needs a spoiler alert, because I wouldn't want to spoil the plot of Wizard 101 for you. So basically, there's this school for wizards called Ravenwood, and they have majors in Fire, Ice, Storm, Myth, Life, and Death. And Balance, I guess. The Death Teacher's name was Malastair, and his wife died for some disease that the greatest life wizards couldn't even cure. And he gets mad and sets off to try summon a dragon and br bring his wife back. Meanwhile, you're a new student at Ravenwood, and Dumbledore over here wants you to stop him. If that wasn't the most forced storyline ever, then I have no- I, I just- I just don't know what is. When you start the game, you are taken through the process of creating your own character and learning the combat system with very little effort to keep the fourth wall intact. Oh, a very, very distant realm. Oh, my goodness. On a world that does not even believe in magic. I wonder what manner of wizard they might become. Perhaps we should consult the Book of Secrets? Headmaster Ambrose turns to regard you intently. Oh, my, my vision seems to be failing me. Uh, are you a boy or a girl? The game gives you a series of questions from the, the Book of Secrets to decide what type of magic you'll master. But it doesn't even matter because you can just skip the questions and pick what school you want to be. Imagine how anticlimactic it would be if in Harry Potter the Sorting Hat was like, what school do you want to be in? You know, you're not, it's supposed, it would ruin the suspense and everything. It's like, you're not supposed to be able to ch change your destiny if it's written in the Book of Secrets. Everybody knows that. Storm wizards are often impulsive, educated, creative, and independent. Famous diviners include Benjamin Franklin, Lady Circe, and Galileo. I don't recall B. Franco being much of a wizard. Why isn't Why isn't Emperor on here? You know, that shouldn't 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 he be on this? Life wizards are often social, charming, funny, and attractive, and attractive, attractive. To move around, use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Try it now. Okay, they didn't even try with that one. N not, not even leaving it up to an on-screen prompt. You can't just go around saying, arrow keys, use the arrow keys, all willy-nilly. It ruins the immersion. Hurry along, young wizard. Take this deck of spell cards and deal with those creatures while I tend to Malastare himself. But isn't that, isn't that what I'm doing? I'm, I'm just a new, I'm just a new wizard. Why don't, why don't you fight him? You're the experienced one. Just throwing new students into battle. Ugh. Why so distracted? We're under attack. Oh my, uh, call me a fool. I had all but forgotten. Yeah, well, you're not going to be saying that when you get me killed by these two actual dragons. Come on, man. What's that? You don't know how to speak? My pardon. Are you telling me that I do not know how to speak? How come I can understand you then? Just give me voice chat. Doorstock! Doorstock! Please! I should say, young wizard, that I was quite impressed with your courage. Well, thanks. <laughs> it's not like I had a choice or anything. <laughs> Wizard 101's gameplay consists of completing quests given by civilians and defeating enemies using a turn-based combat system. I don't really want to go into much detail on the mechanics of the combat system, but the basics are you cast spells with these cards, each one has certain requirements to cast, and if you run out of health, you die. Pretty simple. This game has you traveling to all sorts of different locations throughout the spiral. Some of them have really good and unique art styles, and others do not. One of the worst places, in my opinion, is Wisteria. 
it's supposed to be this same sort of feel as Wizard City, like you're playing the game for a while, and you get, you get to, you've already done Wizard, the whole Wizard City bit, and you wanna, you know, you wanna relive that. But they failed just so terribly. You got clashing colors, bad architecture, models clipping absolutely everywhere, lazy enemy placement, and the quest arrow is just plain dumb. Mushu looks like Japan, but with cows. Maybe a few pigs. The idle animation for the pigs is just plain stupid. Why are they flailing their arm like that? What does it mean? What would it look like if I did that? Wizard 101, being a kid's game, has a few oddities related to vocabulary. There's this chat system where you can pick from a few ready-made phrases like, Hello, thank you, help me. I'm dying inside. So that so that's called menu chat. But for like type chat, text chat, there's this censorship system that's just insane. It's well, of course it censors out words that you wouldn't need to say in a wizard world, but it also censors out things like numbers and random letters. Some of the things that it censors are even words that the in-game characters say. Some spells have odd names too. Why do we have Heck Hound and Elephant? There's just really no consistency. Speaking of voice acting, what what did you really expect? It's bad. It's really bad. Like it ranges from Harry plagiarism to what were you even trying to do? A student wizard wants to try to teach me a thing or two. Ha! Huh. Prepare to be schooled. Ha! Huh. Chalice has returned the solar lens. I am pleased that Faumea didn't have to learn of this. I will use the solar lens to process the fire rosin. The pocket harpsichord is complete. Take this to Shellis, my friend. You are in the presence of royalty. Bow or suffer my wrath. Hmm, a phenomenon. A being enters. Or is it doing? Whatever it is, it cannot be seeing. That would be impossible. Each creature that you will battle will belong to a specific school, and each school has a weakness and a boost. Some of them make sense, like fire and ice, life and death, but myth and storm? You can really tell they're like, oh, we're down to the last two. It's, we gotta, we're left with myth and storm, we gotta pair those two up, I guess. We already paired up all the other ones. You know? The balance school doesn't do any additional damage, but uh, other schools like uh, Myth, Life, and Death do additional damage to it. Clearly some liberties were taken when coming up with some of these. Each spell card has a unique picture on it. Unfortunately, the art style for these spells is all over the place. The Fire Elf card looks like a drawing from DeviantArt, while the Fire Dragon spell looks incredibly detailed. While most of these spells look like they're just, they just took a picture of the model and put a cartoon filter over it. The Cyclops spell looks like they just took the flat texture of the Cyclops face and traced over it. It looks so gross. How are we able to see the front of his face and the inside of his ears? It looks like those weird steam VR leaks. Let's go over an important mechanic in the game, crafting. This isn't your typical Minecraft, kids. No, no, no. It's more comparable to crafting in World of Warcraft. First, you purchase a crafting recipe. Then you need to go get enough reagents to craft it. Most reagents can be found scattered all around the world. But some you have to purchase from the in-game store. In Colossus Boulevard, there are these flowers all around that I always mistake for a reagent. Look, they even have the particle effect coming off of them. What were they thinking? It cannot, even, it cannot be more confusing. Not only can you craft gear, but you can also craft special spells called treasure cards. These treasure cards can only be used once and then they disappear from your inventory. So naturally, you'd want to save your treasure cards for an important event. Get all the powerful ones, save them there until you're fighting some really mean boss and you're down to like uh, 70 health and you need like a, you need a quick, a quick fix. And so you, you, you'd need, you would want to get like spells that you don't normally have, like ones from other schools. But you can only craft treasure cards from your school. 
you have to purchase other skulls spells or find them in random drops by the enemies. That really defeats the whole purpose to me. When you are defeated in a boss battle, you get teleported back to the hub location of the world you are in. You're left with zero health and a button that'll get you to teleport back to the room that the boss battle took place. So you need to get health fast. The quickest way to get health, well, to, is to pay for it. But the most practical way to get these is mini games and be rewarded with health points. Each of these mini games are just clones of arcade games, so don't expect anything new. The quickest way to get health, in my opinion, is to play Potion Motion, which is just chuzzle with potions, and click around the screen. It really isn't that hard. You just have to get to level three or four to get full health. Just takes a few seconds. All right, that was Wizard 101. Hopefully you gained something by watching this video, and you probably have because I'm the best. There's really no question about it. If there's a game that you want to see on the show, shoot, shoot me a comment. I might, I'll read it. I just won't respond because I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let others, see, I don't let other people see my emotions because I'm shut inside and nobody knows the pain other than me. Well, see ya, haha. <laughs>